Hey what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 8 of the Roma career mode in FC24. Thank you guys for the support on the previous videos as always. And today we have some transfer business to deal with. Obviously yesterday's video I did upload with um, transfer suggestions. Uh, I am kind of looking at all of them. So in this episode we will look to sign some players. But before we do get into transfers, we have got our first game of the episode. I will quickly show you the office and calendar to show you the today's uh, game. So we've got one more game in January before the deadline day, which we will do obviously after that game. And we'll look at some transfers to spring in some players that you guys suggested and some players I've looked at myself. And then we'll move on into a month of only four games in February, which uh, Calegri, Inter, uh, and then we move on into the March, which only has three games. Obviously, I don't know if cup games like Europa League and or is Europa League further away. Let me just double check. It doesn't look like Europa League's been put in yet, which is fine. So yeah, we've got a couple of um big games coming up as you can as you can see from before the standings. We have sat four from the table. We have got a game on Inter. So if we win the next game, we'll go level. Uh, and the goal difference, they've got a better goal difference than us. So that's fine. But we are still with 10 points behind Napoli. I think going for the title now is a bit ambitious. But we will still try our best to do that. Like I said, thank you guys for the support on pre previous videos. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. And we're going to jump straight into the action against... I can't remember who we're playing. Well, we're going to jump into the first game of the episode... Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, like I said, and I will see you guys in the highlights. All right, guys, first game of the episode. Let's see how we get on. Obviously, we've done fairly well in the previous episodes. Uh, away from home in this game. Let's see if we can carry on our good form and keep climbing the table. Here comes Lukaku now on the ball. Pellegrini's making that run. It's Pellegrini and it's 1-0 to Roma in the first five minutes of the game. Lovely play from Pellegrini and Lukaku once again. The two main men in this team at the moment. Lukaku holds the ball, plays it through. And Pellegrini smashes it into the top corner. A lovely finish and a pretty standard finish for him uh, this season. Lovely, lovely stuff there from Pellegrini. And he makes it 1-0 inside five minutes. Here comes Vega on the ball down the left-hand side. Is he going to square it? He's going to square it to Pellegrini. Pellegrini! He scores again. It's pretty much identical to the last goal that he just scored. But what a finish that is. And lovely run from Vega down the left-hand side. I've been really impressed with him since we signed him uh, as a free agent. Pellegrini smashes that into the top corner. And you can't really ask for much more. We're now 2-0 up. Pellegrini's making that run. A good ball from Lukaku. Pellegrini now. And he cut it inside to Lukaku, who makes it free. What a finish from Romelu Lukaku. Him and Pellegrini are linking up really, really well here. And it's 3-0 now. And this, this is game over. No chance they're going to come back. And yeah, I can't see them coming back. 3-0 now. And Lukaku gets another goal for himself in the season. But straight from the kickoff, they have a chance here. Can we get back? Mbula with the tackle. Yeah, 3-0 now, and it should be game over. But we have another chance here with Lukaku. Oh, my God, this is absolutely insane. It's Romelu Lukaku. He bangs it in for four, and that should be the game over already. I mean, two for Pellegrini, two for Lukaku. You can't really ask for much more than that. Counter-attack and play we've had in this save has been really, really good. Another goal for Lukaku. 4-0. Game over. Here comes Pantsil on the line. Nice bit of play from him. Missed the ball. Dia with the goal. We concede. It's 4-1 now. Sloppy defending from the back. Which we should have really um, got the ball away. But anyway, 4-1 now. Here comes Andreva now inside the box. Keeper just about gets there. Roll that one out to Pellegrini, out to Diabala now. Lukaku's in the middle. Bova's making a run. Can he find him? Yes, he can. Is he going to have the pace on the defender tracking back? He will. And he's... Oh, my God, he's put it wide. 
They come the opposition now. And still coming inside to the middle of the park. Played through. Dia. No. And he's going to play it through. Oh, my God. Patricia, what are you doing? Oh, my God. It's 4-2. What is Patricio doing? It's ball, ball's played through. Dia runs through, plays him in. Oh, Patricio, what is that? You can see it another. It's 4 2 now, but that was shocking goalkeeping. Here comes Lukaku now into Pellegrini. Oh, it's Cristante. Back to Lukaku. Can he get the shot away? Lukaku, what a finish that is. You ain't going to see a better goal than that today. What a finish from Lukaku for the hat trick. I didn't think he was actually going to get the shot away. I thought the defender was going to block him, but clearly not. What a finish that is, by the way. Lovely ball back to Lukaku. How did he get this away? Oh, it's gone through the legs of the defender. You can't beat that from Romelu Lukaku. It's now 5-2. This on the ball. Cristante. That's a great ball to Bellotti. Can he square it? It's Vega. And it's five, it's six. It's six goals for Roma. Vega gets another goal. Second game, second goal for the new signing. He's actually really impressed me for someone that was a free agent. Going to bring Paredes on for the last bit of the game. But as you can see, 6-2 now. And uh, yeah, the game's been over for the whole second half, really. Lottie's won the ball back. Awar is in on goal. Can he get the shot away? Oh, that's a lovely finish with the side foot into the top corner. It's seven for Roma. What a win this has been. Let's make sure we can bring that into the following games of this episode because we've absolutely wiped the floor here. I don't know where this team are in the league. Um, I actually don't know how to pronounce their name. I always, I'm always, i not very good with these um, Italian team names, if I'm being honest. Um, but anyway, it's going to be game over here. Belotti's probably going to have one more chance. He's not. Lovely from Paredes, that was. Sanchez is through. Is he going to have enough time? The ref has played on. It's Renato Sanchez and it is 8-2 to Roma. What a win. I think this is the biggest win we've had on the save so far. I mean, the opposition were absolutely terrible. And that is full time. We're going to jump into deadline day now and see if we can sign some players for the save. Lukaku with the hat trick. Lovely game from him and Pellegrini, Vega. I mean, everyone played well. We're going to move on into the deadline day part of the episode. All right then, guys. We're going to move on into some deadline day signings. As you can see, I've got some players. Uh, one that was suggested by one of the viewers in the comments, Madaweke. He, this guy I want to bring in is like a, a future left winger uh, to pair up with Madaweke. Uh, this centre-back, uh, Stulalo. Centre-back to go with probably Mancini or Konate. But I need some uh, backup players. Uh, this keeper, I'm going to wait to get him in, in the next season. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough money. Because I'll quickly show you. We only have... How much do we have to work with? 61 million. We might be able to get him. I don't know. Probably not. But we're going to go for the other ones first. Madueke is going to be the first one. I, obviously, my, my scout didn't do them in time. So I don't actually know the prices. So I had to go on online and kind of look at the prices that i could probably get him for 32 million 15 percent sell-on clause right um new transfer fee i'm gonna go 27.5 reasonable offer happy days so i'm gonna go into contract negotiations now with madweke i don't know how much he's on money wise which doesn't really help but we will see. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Hopefully, they kind of tell us what he wants. Five-year deal. That's fine. No release clause. Does he give me... Okay, that's what he wants, which I will accept. There we go, guys. Madaweke is in the team. And he will probably be our left winger. Obviously, Vega is there now. But Madaweke can play across the left or the right. So, he's our first signing of deadline day now we are going to go and try and sign the center back next obviously i'm not too sure how much he'll be a rating for that one which is perfect to try oh wow we can't sell him but we can't buy him all right we're going to go try and sell buy this young lad as well for around about two million 
we'll, we'll give we'll give 2.4 i think that's a reasonable offer yep happy days now his rating's quite low to start with but if we can train him up and then progress into a higher rated in the years coming up which is kind of what i want to do then happy days five year deal yes no release clause and he wants a nice keep wage now i could maybe go after this keeper i'm going to skip this again because we've already seen that uh, a young prospect for the future now i am probably i do need a center back though that is the thing advance if we just go in deep dive, did I did my scouts get any centre backs? That is the question. Let me just go have a look while I'm here. Don't want to go on that. I want to go on the scouts, what they've actually got. If anything. Uh defenders. Not there. Any defenders in this one? Jimmy J's me way too much. All of these guys are just gonna be too expensive for what we've got right now. I might have to go in for like a younger centre back if we can. I mean, I'd love to get Kimbembe. Oh, hold on. He's only 29. Let's shortlist him and try and go for Kimbembe. Maybe. Any of these guys got anything yet? No. Bit annoying. Let's go to Transfer Hub. He's 28. 29 million he's valued at. Hmm. Don't think I'll be able to get him. I'm going to go for this keeper instead. Use the rest of the money there. We've got 29 million to use. I'm going to use 24 of that on him. I want 34. Wow. No, I'm going to... I'm going to offer... 28. Does that give me enough for a wage? I think it should. Hold on. Let me go 27. 34 million, they're not going to budge, are they? Let me just try that again. And then, sell on clause. Just give them 25%. If they say yes to that. Yeah, see, that. I'm not going to, I mean, we're not going to sell him if we're going to keep using him, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's quite smart to do it that way. Because we won't sell him. Uh, important, yeah, that's fine. How much money does he want? That's the question. Uh, we'll go four-year deal for him, which is fine. No, don't need that. I mean, it fits perfectly, and we sign uh, the new keeper who will replace Patricio because even though Patricio's had a good season, he won't be with us next season. I'm going to let him go. So it, it is good to get a new keeper in straight away, and he is fairly young. And yeah, he's 80 rated overall. He's got a lot of time to improve. I'll keep Kimbembe on the shortlist for the next uh, season, just in case. Uh, let me just go to the inbox. Uh, oh, it's just all about the training plans, which I don't need to see now. Go over to the squad quickly, team management. Uh, I am going to put the keeper on the bench for now. But the young, he's only 68 rated. It's not too bad. Uh, let's swap you out for him. Madueke Awa. Sanchez. I'm going to put the, the young lad on the bench. Who for though? Paredes probably. And then just keep them free as the midfield options. So that is the end of deadline day. We obviously need to simulate through. I don't think I'm going to get any body coming in for my players. Wow, Patricio to Roma could be on the cards. Wow, latest rumours though. It's not actually a bid. If someone did bid for Patricio now, I would let him go. But probably... Oh, okay. This is for when his deal ends, I think. Which is fine. I'll, I'll let him leave at the end of the season. He's actually been playing quite well for us. A couple of bloopers, but I mean, it, to be expected. Their loan offer. Loan to buy. Hmm. Do I want to accept that? Probably not. You know what? I'll negotiate and see what they say. Let's see, they want a two-year loan. That's fine. He can go on loan. That's fine with us. Happy days. I don't mind that. We've got the new keeper in. The other one can... The, the one He was never going to play for us, let's be honest. So, I don't mind that at all. 
I mean, Chiso hasn't really done anything to like kind of drop out. Oh, he's leaving now, is he? Was that the end of the season? That might be the end of the season. Or is it now? Hmm. I think that. Oh wow, he's gone. Oh no, no, it's when his contract runs out. Uh, Zaliski, no chance. I'm selling him. I actually really enjoy using him off the bench. We're gonna go all the way through till the end of deadline day. Obviously, next next window we're gonna have more money, and hopefully we can um, find some more players because obviously the squad depth's not great. There goes the reserve keeper out on loan. Um, yeah, he wasn't gonna play for us, which I don't mind him going out on loan. Nearly the end of the window. Nothing. I don't think anything else will really happen, and that is the end of the window. What we're gonna do now is go into. The next game of the episode, which I'll quickly show you, is against Calegri. Then we've got games against Inter. And we'll probably try and finish this month off and edit it that way. So then we can move straight into the next episode with that month, March, where there's not many games. And then we end off with a couple of games in April. Oh, and May as well, sorry. So yeah, jumping into the next game of the episode. Here come Calegri. Can we get the block away? Still live. Good tackle from Bo. But we're giving the ball back with Cristante. Strike. And it's a goal. 1-0. Calegri. Poor defending from us. Don't know what we were doing at the back there with um, giving the ball away. We see ourselves 1-0 down inside the first 10 minutes. Here comes Dabala now. Can he find Pellegrini? It's Pellegrini with the shot. And it's blocked by the defender. Kaku now on the ball. Can he find Pellegrini? Yes, he can. It's Pellegrini through on goal. It's Pellegrini. He's put it well wide. Oh, here come Pellegrini again with Nandez now. Squares it. Kanate does really well. And Celic now on the ball. Can he clear? Bove in the middle. Gonna need Dybala to make a run. That's a poor pass from him. I don't know what that was. Now we're going to... He hit on the counter. Canate with a lovely tackle. Win the ball back. Oh, Cristante's had a stinker so far this game. Giving the ball away again. Ball played down the line. Delic now. Gone past him. It's gone past him again. Bov has to come across. And the buys ran out of play. But we're not playing very well this game. Especially after the last game. Oh, Celic, what is that? That's an awful pass. Ball played through. And it's 2-0. What are we doing at the back, man? It's awful defending. I don't know what that pass was as well. We're now 2-0 down. Pellegrini now. Madaweke's through. It's Madaweke. Can he square it? It's Lukaku. And it's 2-1. Lovely goal from Lukaku. Good play from Madaweke for his first assist for Roma. It's now 2-1. Madaweke now wins the ball back. Kaku, not really much options for him. Here come Pellegri now on the ball. Good tackle, Celic. Ball's bounced back to them. Spinazzola, he's got time to find Dybala. Need that run of Lukaku, it's not come. But we still have the ball with Dybala. Can he reach it? Lukaku's through on goal. It's Romelu Lukaku and it's 2-2. Roma, oh, I was going to say Roma, but Romelu Lukaku with two. To make it 2-2, what a finish that was and what a pass that was from Dybala. Look how the game's changed. With Romelu Lukaku striking for Roma once again. He must be on about 20 plus goals this season already. Good finish, it's now 2-2. Let's see if we can go and grab another. Here come Calegrino on the counter. And Chini... And Spinazzola across. Can we get the ball? Madaweke all the way back. Ancini. Lovely play to get the ball clear. Cristante now. Lukaku's running down the wing. We need someone in support. No, Lukaku, that's a poor pass. Madaweke was through. And he's actually given the foul. What are we going to do with it here? Maybe get someone short. That's too many players short there. Madaweke. Play it out wide. Dante now. Kelic. Kaku. 
Oh, oh Chalik's in. It's Chalik. It's saved by the keeper. Last chance of the game. Corner from Dybala. It's whipped in. No one's got on the end of it. And the player's going to keep it in, but it's fell to Dybala. Pellegrini. No, what was that? Oh, and that's probably going to be game over. Unless Mancini... Oh, no. It's going to be game over. 2-2. Two, two. Can't really be dropping points like that. But we're going to move on into the next game against Inter Milan. Kelic now plays the ball down to Dybala. Dybala inside. Madueke's there. Lukaku to Madueke. It's a goal! Madueke's first goal for Roma in his first start. 1-0. You can't beat that. Noni Madueke with the goal. What a finish that is. Lovely build-up play. Uh, Celic down the line to Dybala into Lukaku. Madueke into the back of the net. Lovely finish. Sommer had no chance. He's gone the wrong way. And it's a goal for Roma to make it 1-0. Here come Inter. Ball played through. Can the keeper get there? No, he can't. What is the keeper doing? Morata scores the goal. But look at the keeper. What is he doing? Why has he not come out with his hands? He's tried to slide tackle and he's missed the ball. And it's now 1-1. Here come Inter once again. Ball's whipped in. And it's a goal. Issy scores with the header. What were we doing there? We were all over the place. There's a ball played into the back post. Madueke couldn't get there. I don't really know where our defence was there. Nevertheless, we're 2-1 down now against Inter. Here's Lukaku now. Madueke. Can he play it down the line? Spin it all up. Can he square it? It's Romelu Lukaku. And it's saved by Sommer again. Got another corner now. Vega. It's a poor corner to the first man. Got to be beating them. Ove now. Vega. Into Pellegrini. Oh my god, he's forgot the ball. He's ran ahead of the... Oh my god, what was that? Oh, Pellegrini's won it. It's a goal. What was the defender doing there? I don't have a clue. Oh my god. Pellegrini snatched it. Look at the defender. What is he doing? Oh, we've got so lucky there. And it's come off the post as well. Um, We're going to take Madueke off um, for that youngster. I'm going to bring him on. Madueke, a bit tired out there. Not Sanchez. And I'm going to bring Sanchez on as well. I, could, I might bring Belotti on, but not just yet. Anyway, guys, 2-2 two, two now. Let's try and get this winner. I need some support here. Kaku's there. Oh, Pellegrini, where, why didn't he make the run? Ball played wide. Lovely skill from the youngster. It's into Pellegrini. Lukaku, can he shoot? It's Lukaku. Oh, it's gone wide. Going to bring Awar on for Pellegrini. Get some fresh legs. Vega whips it in. It's Lukaku. Unlucky there. The youngster now on the ball. Cristante. Down to Vega. Oh, what is that turn? I didn't even do that. Inter have a chance. Don't know why the ref didn't blow the whistle there. And there. I don't know why the ref hasn't blown the whistle. Sanchez wins it. And we're not going to get a chance to attack. When we would have been through on goal. But it's another 2-2 two -two draw. And it's another point. Or a couple of points lost. Then we run into the next game of the episode. Right guys. Last game of the episode. We are going to sim this game. Going to jump in if needed. I think our team's strong enough to get the win without needing to play this one. Obviously, I'd, I, I don't really sim that many games. I think we've only simmed, like, what, three games maybe in this whole uh, series so far. Uh, as I say that, they score within five minutes. Wow, that is really disappointing. But what can you do? Yeah, hopefully we can win this. Uh, obviously, I don't know how long this episode is going to be because, obviously, we had the deadline day, transfers, and all that stuff. So uh, it did take quite a while to deal with, but... What we can say is we haven't had a bad episode. We've had a couple of draws. Pellegrini. Oh, that's unlucky. A couple of draws. Um, but then that massive 8-2 win at the start of the episode. So hopefully we can finish off this episode with a win. 
We're looking good here. Pellegrini, Lukaku. I mean, that link-up play with, between them two has been absolutely ridiculous in this whole season so far. Uh, I'm sure Lukaku or Pellegrini are going to be the top goal scorer for us this season. Lukaku now on the ball. Adewake's there. Oh, that's lovely. Ibala with the finish. Lovely build-up play from Roma. Can we see this game out, though? That's the problem. We, we tend to, you know, if we go 1-0 down... We can claw a draw, then concede straight away. But if we start the game and win, uh, winning, teams struggle to get goals back, which is the only annoying thing. But hopefully, you know, we can continue this. Hopefully a top four finish is the goal. Obviously, you know, want to be in the Champions League next season. We've still got the Europa League. I haven't seen the draw yet, so I don't know where we're going to, or who we're going to be playing against. So we need to watch out for that and then, Obviously, see if we can try and go all the way. Yellow card for Pellegrini, which I will dismiss. Yeah, hopefully we can get all the way with that. Obviously, we got knocked out of the cup, which is annoying. But that Udinese game was really frustrating to play. And that's half time. We're going to carry this game on. I'm going to make some subs probably around the 60th minute, maybe. Get some players, some game time. Maybe Belotti comes on. Uh, maybe the youngster that we signed comes on. Lukaku turns and is tackled. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this Roma save at the moment. I can see us probably doing maybe two seasons, maybe another season or three potentially if we don't end up winning the league or the Champions League if we get there. Uh, it'd be nice to get some sort of silverware in this save before we move on to the next one, which is going to be Atletico Madrid. I have done that previous FIFAs, which I really enjoyed. So I'm going to go back again and try have another go at it and win everything like I did last time. So, yeah, that's that bit. We're going to make some subs now. I'm going to bring on the young lads. I'm going to bring Belotti on as well. Sanchez. And I'm going to rest Ibarra as well. And Pellegrini's on the yellow card. So I'll, I'll take all of them off. Pretty much change the front four there because I don't really want anyone gets suspended or injured so obviously we've got a lot of games coming up another good effort there Madawake corner played in no one's there can we get a shot away anyone Konate oh no need to win the ball back ball played wide nice play from Berenzin I don't know how you pronounce that again I am shocking with pronunciations by the way guys if you haven't already you can already tell. I don't want to concede. Look how late on in the game it is. EA, please don't mess me up here. Ball played in. Keep it. Just keep it. Oh, that's lovely, Vega. Can he get a cross in? Ball played in. Oh, this is lovely football. Shoot. Oh, he's at the crossbar post. Crossbar, but we win 2-1. And this is going to be the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate the support as always, guys. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.